Welcome guys to a new tutorial of Factor Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to inject some JavaScript in a website so you can make it your liking uh, look like uh, the way you want it or, or uh, do the things you want it. For example, uh, here on PC Gamers website, uh, when I am on their website, uh, I want to use the left and right arrow key to move uh, this this home page animation thing I don't know what it's really called so instead of just using the mouse to go left or right I can just uh, press uh, left or right key um, now it's not really that difficult so first of all we are going to need some injector some Chrome extension to inject websites um, I found injector from Neocrotix I think uh, to be the best for this uh, so chrome web store and in the chrome web store just sh search for injector injector and there you'll find injector and uh, just install it really useful if you like it give them a, a give them a, a feedback a review and uh, say that you liked it and uh, that i send you there um, so after you've installed it I have this here on my right screen. So, first one, PC Gamers. Now, uh, how this injector works is with the domain name. So, just give it the domain name, for example, pcgamer.com. For some reason, if you type www.pcgamer, it won't work. So, just give them the name and then the um, uh, .com or .be or .org, whatever it is. So create a new one. So after creating the domain name, uh, you'd want to choose the script or the style. So with this injector, you can also inject some CSS and change the website the way you like. Maybe you don't like the white background. You want to be, uh, you want it to be black, and you want all the things to be white. Whatever. Uh, so no, today we want just JavaScript. JavaScript. And to me. When I code in JavaScript, I always use jQuery because why? Because it's just really good and uh, spares you a lot of time. So, first of all, we are going to include uh, jQuery uh, via a function, and I'm just going to copy paste that function and explain it to you what it does. So, first of all, uh, we declare a function. So, when this starts, we declare a function. And we say, okay, a new script or variable new script uh, has that is a document uh, create element script. Uh, then we give it just a type, so text script. You can also give CSS, blah blah, but we need text slash script. Then we need the source. I mean, uh, and we, uh, the source is just Ajax Google API. Actually, uh, you can do this with every uh, everything with every API and we set async to true then we just append uh, this script this script here to our header let's space this so we can see that these are these are one script and these are another line of code that really matters uh, after we've done that we want to use um, some jquery to make this go left and right now uh, you can also write this in native or uh, vanilla JavaScript, but I just prefer jQuery. So let's start. Uh, we're going to use our dollar sign for calling jQuery. Um, and then going to give it the body. Gonna get, uh, we're going to add a key uh, listener on the key down. So we're just going to press key down, or you can say on key down. I prefer the short version. The shorter the better now key down and then when the key down happens we want a function to execute function with argument e now open close bracket add a semicolon or whatever it's called and here we're gonna check what uh, error uh, what key was pressed so if e uh, let's open another bracket e dot key code 
or coach or e dot which which uh, is equal to 37 37 is the value key press value of the left arrow so you can search for other key values if you want to map this on one you can search for the value of one uh, there are various websites with those values we want to go left so to go left you probably have to press this so we are going to look at the div that's pressed uh, here it's slide left and then we open our injector and we say jQuery open bracket since it's a class we'll have to use the dot instead of the hashtag when it's an ID you have to use the hashtag with some class so here it's a class um, if this was an ID there would be ID written here but since this class it's class we're not going to change that really so class slide left dot click click and semicolon uh, what this is going to do is every time you press the left arrow button uh, the jQuery is going to click on this div it's going to click on this div uh, and let me look for the injector yeah here so what this does when we click on the left it's going to go to the left so it's really simple now we want it uh, to go to the right so right arrow if or we are just going to pick up paste that and change the value because that would be much easier you don't ha really have to write code 20 times if you if you if you have written it already and now the value of the right arrow is 39 I remember and of course the right arrow is named something else slide right that's just logical and we'll change that and we'll save that um, now some websites are going to have prevent if uh, have measurements so to prevent this kind of injection and how you can test that actually is just write console.log and just give it a name and look at your console uh, if you see your message you've written here then it should be alright but I've tested this already so it should work so when I press right it goes to the right so I don't know if you can hear my keyboard but I'm not using my mouse right here and left we also go to the left so that was pretty easy uh, fast tutorial hope you like it uh, if you have any questions just ask them in the uh, in the comments